Hi, I'm Mark Payne from MK1 Photography, and today we're talking about <whistles> telephotos. Okay, so first things first, um, I'm sure pretty much everyone knows what a telephoto lens is, but if you do not, I will explain it very quickly for you. It is a big ass zoom lens. This one goes from 70 mils to 300 mils. That's kind of, I wouldn't say your average, but well, yeah, it kind of is your average size, I suppose, 70 to 300. You can get 55 to 300, and you can get 200s and up to 600s, which are just epically huge. I've got two to show you today. Um, one is very basic, probably the most basic and cheap, um, if you're on a budget. One is a bit more mid-level um, range. I've got no professional ones to show you because I'm poor and I haven't got thousands of pounds to spend on that shiz. So I'm gonna start off first with this, which is a Sigma DG. Um, I've got the box here. It's got all the information on it. 70 to 300 millimeters, F4 to 5.6. Um, that straight away is going, it's, it's not too bad really, because the other one I'm gonna be showing you is this Nikon, which is another 70 to 300, and this is 4.5 to 5.6. So straight away off the bat, the Sigma has got a slight advantage also has a slight advantage in the fact that it shoots in macro you're not going to be able to see it i'm not going to mess about with the focus of my camera but i will promise you that says macro on there um apart from them two things and the price they are the only things really that it has going for it over the nikon in every way shape or form straight off the bat the quality of it is terrible rubbish um the smell of it smells like old condoms. Uh, it's just terrible rubbish all the way around. I made the terrible mistake of buying a new camera, hence why, by the way, um, I haven't done a video in such a long time. I've swapped camera brands from Canon to Nikon. Um, simple reason is my 40D was it was just knocking on. It was getting too old. I loved the feel of it. The body was great. The quality, however, with I think it had 12 megapixels was just not good enough for today's photography. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get a new camera. I looked at Canon's alternative with the budget I had, which was under £400. Pound. Um, that's about $7,000. Um, I was looking at a Canon 700D or 750D, whichever one has the touch screen and the Nikon 53, D5300, 50, I think. Um, I was literally going to go and buy the Canon off the internet, eBay, and then I popped into a well-known shop um, that sells electricals in the UK, otherwise known as, well, I'm not going to say the name, but it would if you bought a couple of meals from an Indian restaurant, then you've got the name right there. Um, yeah, so I went in that shop, I picked up the Canon, and it felt cheap and nasty, to be honest with you. I picked up the Nikon, and it just felt much better straight away. And I think, I might be wrong in saying this, but I got a feeling that the Nikon's got more megapixels as well. So, and they were both around the same price, and I ended up getting a good deal on the Nikon anyway, so I'm happy with that. But from that very same shop, I wanted to get a 300 millimeter lens because obviously I swapped from Canon to Nikon so all my lenses were now useless and as I love to shoot wildlife I wanted to go out and get a 300 millimeter and I went rushing out into that shop and I saw this beauty for 99 pounds 99p I thought what a bargain by the way it comes in this sexy little black box um, yeah which is rubbish. Everything about it's rubbish. This is why I'm doing this video mainly because although I'm a believer in not going out and spending thousands of pounds on stuff because you don't necessarily need it, and you know, photographers say it's not the equipment, it's the band behind the camera. You try shooting a bird that's flying with this lens and 
you've probably got more chance of the bird dying before you manage to get this to focus on it. It's shit. The autofocus on it is ridiculous. I'll slip it into autofocus. Listen to this. That to me sounds like them radio controlled cars used to get when you were a kid that were also terrible rubbish, but were probably better at taking a photograph than this. Um, like I said, the autofocus is dreadful. Manual focus is just you, you can't even breathe on it without it going out of focus. Um, the chromatic apparition, if you don't know what that means, basically that is like if I shoot a bird up in a tree, excuse me, with all the twigs and that, because it's winter and there's no leaves on there, all of them twigs and stuff are going to have a lovely purple and green fuzzy outline to it like it's from some 70s 3D comic book. And that sucks. Um, the macro on it, however, isn't too bad. And if you need a macro lens on the super cheap, I would... I don't even know if... I, I mean, to be honest with you, I went into Covey's too... Well, not Covey, sorry. I went into that shop two weeks later and this was reduced from £99.99 .99 to £40. So even they know it's terrible rubbish. I really don't want to slag it off too much, but I can't really think of, apart from the macro, I can't really think of any other reason why you'd use this, to be honest with you. A couple of faults on it, look at the right. This is now at 300 mil, okay? And I'll take my hand away and it's gonna be a dick now and not do it. There you go. It just moves, it just moves on its own, completely on its own. Look, that's no good to you. If you're out and you wanna shoot at say, let's say 135 mils and you've got your camera pointing down, you're gonna be at 300 mils. Lift your camera up and you're gonna to have to piss about with the focal length and then you have to piss about with this focus ring. And look at that, there's just, it's just rubbish. It's like it's made out of um, Kinder Egg Egg cartridges. Shocking, man. And it's ugly as fuck. Um, if you put the lens cap on, uh, the lens hood on it, it looks like a dumbbell that someone would use in a prison. That is about it. That's about all. Look at it. Why? What's it got? So many lumps and bumps and angles and just uh, uh, just makes me want to throw up and the buttons are rubbish just real bad quality i mean this you shouldn't have this on macro it only goes macro between 200 and 300 but i mean that's on 200 now so i'll slip it into macro yeah so now you've got between 300 and 200 yeah but if you're just a little bit too vigorous bang you're over. So what? I haven't actually took a picture like that, but I don't know what would actually happen. I can't see anything changing inside. But anyway, let me put it to you like this: If you want to shoot wildlife, or you want to shoot sports, or anything like that, don't buy one of these. Please don't buy one of these. If you just need something to pass the time, to do some macro shots for the fun of it, then go ahead, knock yourself out and get yourself a Sigma terrible rubbish uh, DG macro lens. Anyway, enough about that terrible rubbish. I now own this, which is the Nikon Nikkor 70 to 300, 4.5 to 5.6 VR. Um, it's the, the names of these lenses are just ridiculous. The full name is AFS VR Zoom Nikkor 70 to 300 millimeter f 4.5 to 5.6 GIFED. And breathe. What can I say? It's more expensive. Yes. Is it better quality? Yes. A lot more better quality. This you put at 300 mils, stays at 300 mils. You want to put it at 135 mils? It stays at 135 mils. It doesn't matter which way up or down or side to side. It stays there. Um, the autofocus on it is super fast, super quick. It's also got the VR system in it, which is so helpful. When you're using this and you're trying to shoot something at 300 millimeters, 
everything in a viewfinder is going like that, man. So that's why it's so hard to focus. And even when you think you've got focus on it, unless you're shooting at say four hundreds of a second, you ain't gonna get a sharp image. With this, the VR works really well. It stabilizes the image. I've shot this at 300 mils handheld at 1 60th of a second. All right, it was indoors and it was in a stationary object, but it still come out crystal pin sharp. Um, you cannot moan at that. The autofocus is really cool. It autofocuses, plus it's got a manual override. So even though you're in auto, you can use manual if you think it's not quite in or it say it's missed the subject and you need to just readjust slightly. It's there at your fingertips and it's at the back. The other thing is as well, compared to the Sigma, when you're focusing, you can see the front element, it twists and turns. So having filters and stuff on it is a no-go with the Sigma. And just listen to that, oh my God. With the Nikon, the front element, when you're doing focal length, it does turn slightly, but all the focusing is internal. So um, you can put a filter on it and it's fine. It's cool. Cool beans, man. And plus look at it. Once you've got this lens cap, on, uh, lens hood on it as well, it just looks the knees of the bee. Um, it's a little bit heavier than the Sigma, but that just says to me quality instead of an inconvenience. Um, and it's just all round a better lens. If you wanna see some images, oh, by the way, it's also got this thing for the chromatic apparition. Um, you've got normal and active, it really does work. It really does help big time with that. I haven't seen any ghosting or nothing from this lens. Um, I've shot some sports outside with it, it worked well. Some football, um, I've shot some wildlife with it, it worked well. I've done portraits with this with kid, like my mate's kid in the park. Man, it, it turned out so nice. It was so crystal and clear and the colours and that were just great. Retail on these in the same shop I got this from, £430. But if you ever look on the old um, Tinternet and find one on eBay like I did, I got this for I think I paid 270 for this and it's brand spanking new, out the box. Um, also, with it, because it's Nikon, you get this five year protection included. That's a one year warranty. So if anything goes wrong with it in the first year, I send it back, they send me a new one. Anything goes wrong with it in uh, four years after that, I send it to Nikon and they fix it for me. So all in all, you buy this, for, well, let's say 40 pound now. 40 pound for a 300 mil lens. All right, look, for 40 pound, if you're gonna shoot macro with it, go and buy it. All right, yeah, 40 pound, you know, it's, it's nothing for a lens. But don't expect to do anything else with it. Honest to God, it is just terrible rubbish. But it's for sale, so if you wanna buy mine, you can buy it for just 60 pounds. Um, also with a Nikon, you get a bag and it smells like leather. Um, if you wanna see some images from both these lenses, like I was saying, you can head over to my new Facebook page, Facebook forward slash air photography, Mark Payne. From MK1 Photography, bye for now.